Hey everybody, Blonde Master here with another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom node group which will take any image that you've rendered out and convert it into a cartoonish style image and I'm going to be starting off with this image here and this will be the end result of what we get with our custom node group and if you want you can also play around with the settings and avoid adding the colors so you just get a pencil sketch effect you can see that I've done the same thing with this DNA image and the result looks pretty cool. So let's jump into Blender and get started. So the first thing we want to do is switch over to the compositing layout and we're going to check backdrop and press control and up arrow to enter full screen mode. I'll press N to get rid of this tab here and we'll delete this render layer node as well because I actually created an image which we're going to be using for this tutorial. And it's this abstract fluid kind of image. If you want to learn how to create this as well, just leave a comment below so I'll know to create a tutorial for this. And anyways, first thing you want to do to create this cartoon effect is to add in a filter node. And we want to switch this from soften to sobel. And you can immediately see the effect we're getting. It's essentially creating an outline along the edges inside of our image. And it looks pretty cool but we want to actually make this a black and white image so we're going to add in this RGB to black and white node and right now we're getting white outlines which is the opposite of what we want so let's just add in a invert node so that we get the nice black outlines we want And if you wanted you could actually stop right here and you would have a nice pencil sketch effect you can play around with this factor for the Sobel node to affect the thickness and even though the max value that you can slide to is 1 you can actually type in values greater than that to create the effect that you're looking for. And if you wanted, you could add in a color ramp node right after this and play around with these markers here so that you can adjust the effect to get whatever you're looking for. But I'm actually going to leave it out for now. And if you wanted to add some color to your scene, all you would have to do is add in this mix node here Take your original image and plug it into the top socket and switch it to multiply. You can immediately see we're getting that cartoonish effect that we're looking for. And if you play around with this factor value, if you decrease it to zero, we get our original image. And as you increase it towards one, you start to see that our thickness starts to be applied to the image. And you can control the strength of that thickness as well, just with this factor value. And if this isn't the effect you're looking for, you can also switch this to the color option and just flip these two sockets. You'll start to get a uh, more flat shading, which also looks pretty cartoonish. But I prefer the multiply node, so I'm going to keep it like that. And now to create our own node group for this, I'm just going to hold down shift and right click all of these nodes and press control G to create our node group and I'll just tab out of that and name it cartoon effect and that's pretty much it for creating the node group but as you can see that if we wanted to edit any of the values for this we would have to tab into the group which isn't what we want we actually want to have sliders here that can adjust values for that so to do that I'm going to take this factor input right here and plug it into there and do the same thing with the multiply node as well and you can see that these two image sockets have the same exact input so let's just plug it in like that or actually get rid of that and we'll tab into the node group and press N to bring up this property tab here and we'll just delete this image socket here and take this output and plug it in there and now you can see that we're starting to clean up this node group a bit this first factor value I'm gonna switch the name to thickness and whoops thickness and the second one will rename strength and if we tab back out you can see that we now have sliders here to play around with these values and we can adjust them to whatever we want to get the effect that we're looking for and you can also uh, add in different kinds of images to see what kind of effect you'd get I have this DNA image here which really doesn't look good with the color but if we tab into this node group and mute the multiply node you can see let's just plug that in that the 
effect of the pencil sketch looks pretty cool with this. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.